Okay, so today we are going to do this holiday armadillo um, because the theme of the art show is um, a very Texas Christmas. So we're gonna do armadillos because they are from Texas. Um, okay, so we are gonna go about five fingers up and make a little mark. And that's gonna be the bottom of our armadillo. And then we're gonna go probably four fingers and maybe three fingers from the side of the page and that's how long it's gonna be so it's gonna go four fingers from the edge along this line so this lines gonna go out to here where I made that mark and it's gonna go out to there where I did like three fingers from the other side so that's how long our armadillo is. Now I can kind of erase these little lines. Then we're gonna do just a half circle to do the shell. So just a curve, okay? Then we're gonna come over here and the head's kind of like a triangle, but it's got a little curve to it. So just the best you can do that. And then there's little ears an eye and then over here we're going to do a little tail that comes around and then one leg two leg three leg four legs okay so now that we have our basic armadillo, we're going to do the ground, just a horizon line. That's the line that separates the sky or the air from the dirt. And it's going to go, we want our armadillo on the ground. So it's going to go, the line for the ground is above its feet because its feet have to be on the ground. Does that make sense? Okay, now we're going to do a little design on the shell. You can use any lines you want. I'm going to use some curved lines going this way because armadillo shells usually have little curves like this. In fact, I want you all to do this, okay? Then the design within these, you get to decide once you do those lines. So I'm doing a little zigzag line and maybe wavy. Then back to zigzag, then back to wavy, back to zigzag, and back to wavy. And then here, I'm going to do some circles, and here, I'm going to do some triangles. Oh, and I'm going to make his little tail striped. Okay. Then I'm going to draw a little cactus coming up over here. It's going to go straight up, have an arm that comes out. Maybe it's going to go right off that page. It's going to go down a little further on this side before it starts its other arm. It's going to go right off the side back down and here I'm going to do a sun maybe I'll keep with that zigzag theme and do a little triangle around it okay so now that I have do my nose just a little bit lower like that so it looks like a snout now that I have it all drawn in pencil, I'm going to take a Sharpie, outline it in Sharpie, and then I'm going to take crayon, and I'm going to color, oh, if you want to do a Santa hat, you can do a little Santa hat, I forgot that. It's going to go behind the ear. Maybe I won't even see that either. Um, we're going to Sharpie everything that we just drew. Every, every line just gets Sharpied. Then we're gonna color it in in crayon. This, this, and this. Leave the sky, leave the dirt. We're gonna do those in paint and it's called crayon resist. So basically what happens is 
the paint won't cover the crayon.